So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take some clean water and I'm going to wet this page. So this is watercolour paper and it's, it's great to use, it's quite absorbent and also it kind of, if we wet it first then it allows the ink and the watercolour to spread. Okay, so not all of the paper is wet, but some of it is, and that's okay. That will create different textures and depths. So we're going to use some ink. And we're going to be quite kind of expressive with this. Okay. That just spreads across the page makes quite interesting patterns and shapes. So we're focusing on uplifting colours in this piece. Okay, so I've got some watercolour that's mixed ready here with a bit of ink in it. So it's just a slightly different shade than the one that's on the paper already. Just to create a slightly different colour. That doesn't look that different actually. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to put some blue in it. Okay, so we're just going to put some blue ink into that and see what that does. And while we've got it open, we might just put some on the page too. And I love the kind of patterns that this makes. So let's use a different brush, let's use a smaller one. We're going to mix that up. Put a little bit of red in it as well. And then we're going to see what happens when that goes onto the page. So this is quite experimental. And although I have a vague image in my head, it's not really a plan. That's kind of how I like to work. Okay, so I've got some nice bright green here. We're using really positive colours. And that's, I've mixed that quite thinly with a lot of water. So that gives quite a nice pale colour around the edges. I think I still want some more purpley colour actually. It's not, there's not quite enough purpley colour in there. Okay, so let's try by mixing up a blue. This is quite a nice deep colour. We're putting this on with a smaller brush. So we're actually getting quite thin lines. And it's spreading a lot less than the other ink did, which is possibly a sign that the page, the paper is starting to dry slightly. For this kind of thing, we often use quite gentle brush strokes. That's quite a soothing thing to do. It's quite calming. So I think I'd like some different coloured brush strokes, different shaped brush strokes, should I say. Maybe going in a different direction we've started in the centre. This is kind of a combination of a few different styles that often come out of my work. So I often work in circles and from the centre. I'm not quite sure why that is but it just kind of feels right. And I think it's important to go with what you feel or what you're drawn to in this process and not to overthink it too much because as soon as we overthink it then we're right back into the logical brain which is not what we want for this process and the other style I digressed the other style that I tend to use is that I use kind of just blocks, very simple, 
brush strokes that kind of create blocks of colour like this. Again, this can be quite a meditative process when we focus on it. And with colour, colour can really represent different feelings, different experiences, different things to different people at different times. Sometimes for me, blue is kind of sadness. Sometimes it's just calm and it's nice. Okay, so we've got some yellow in there and I want to maybe work into that a little bit with some watercolour so that that spreads. And we're just kind of watching the process emerge really. Hmm. Purple, I keep getting drawn back to purple. Let's put some more on these bits now, which are slightly drier. So this won't spread quite as much as it did before. Okay, so I want to vary the brush strokes as well in size. Yeah, that feels pretty wholesome. Do some up here next to the green. Oh, and the yellow's just bled into that as well, which is quite a nice accident, coincidence. Okay, so we're gonna go back to using a bit of ink. I'm gonna use a slightly curved brush so we can maybe make some slightly different strokes and marks. I'm going to go ahead and blend that into the purple. Ooh, I like that. That's quite a gentle soothing process. And as I said earlier, we can use this kind of process to affirm positive feelings with using different colours and like I said different colours will represent different things to different people at different times we can use mantras for this process and we can use affirmations and intentions And because I believe in this process, I believe that that's quite a positive, healthy thing to do. Okay, so fairly soon I'm going to have to let this dry, a little bit anyway, and then maybe have a think about where to go next with it. And I guess what I encourage people to do in workshops is that I encourage people to go with the process and allow it to be a therapeutic process, whether that is cathartic or calming, and that will depend on what we're focusing on in the theme. Um, but one thing that people often say is, I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't be creative. And that's quite a challenge sometimes to explain that it's not really about the finished product. We're lucky if it turns out to be, if it turns out to be pretty. Not all of them do. Okay, so I don't wanna overwork that. I think I'm gonna pause there, and maybe let it dry a little bit. So I'm going to go back to this piece now it's reasonably dry. And I'm now going to use some acrylic paint. So that is going to create a much more opaque 
kind of colour. So I'm just going to go over various bits that I've painted here with inks, kind of creating a layering effect. That's neat, so it's very strong colour. I might just mix a tiny bit of water with that. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that one as it is. Okay, so just creating really simple brush strokes. Again, really. In different directions, there's nothing particularly technical about this. I'm winging it. But because there's been some yellow on the brush previously, I'm getting a slight mix of yellow and green on the brush stroke, which I like. So I think I want some contrasting colours on here. Okay, I'm trying to vary the, the brush strokes in size and shape. That's quite a rich colour. It'd be interesting to see what that looks like when it dries because already I can tell that some of the colours that I've put on in ink looked quite a lot darker to begin with than they've actually dried. They dry quite pale. I'll mix a bit more orange into that. The centre of this is still quite open, quite bare, and I'm not sure whether... I like having some space there. I think I want to put a bit more colour into it, just to kind of close that up slightly. Hmm, that's quite nice. Hmm, I just really like that colour. Not thinking too deeply about that, I'm just going with it. Yeah, and it's a good contrast to the other colours that are on there. So it's kind of warming it up slightly. So I'm not going to do that in all of my brush strokes because I think I want some of them to just be that pale orange that they were and not affect them too much. I contrast it with this bright blue here. if I go over some of this blue ink with a pale of blue. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, so that feels like it really adds something that's different. Different in colour contrast. Different in texture. So these are really... Um, lifting colours and that's particularly what I'm focusing on in this piece. So I'm kind of exploring the connection between colour and feelings and thoughts. This is just really simple in many ways. Again, we're using those quite simple repetitive strokes, which is just really quite soothing and enjoyable. 
Okay, what do we want next? Okay, so we've used some cool colours, let's go for warm. Yeah, I'm going to use this kind of on the side as well, put some different textures and lines. Yeah, I like that. So I quite enjoyed doing that, using that on the side. So I'm going to do that with a slightly different colour as well, just working through the colour palette. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this so far. I don't think there's a huge amount left that I want to do on it. I, I want to leave some space on the page that's still white because I want it to have a nice kind of airy, fresh feeling about it. And I don't want to overwork it. It's too easy to do that sometimes. Hmm. And I think the most important thing, really, is that I'm enjoying this. Hmm. Okay, so these are quite easy to use. You can either kind of dip them first and then you can just go straight on. Or you can draw them and then you can put some water over to kind of make them a bit more, yeah, like watercolour paint. So I'm going to do a combination of those things. I'm just going to outline and highlight some of these blocks of colour in contrasting colours. Hmm. Okay, so that's quite, that's quite vibrant and it's quite full. I think I'm going to stop fairly soon so I don't want to overwork it. Hmm, actually, with that having broken I quite like the effect of that just rolling. I'm just going to go along the edge here of the ink, where the ink has blurred. Add a bit of rougher texture. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to sign it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>